uh, when you start with a cause to make a film, it always ends up as you know, you standing on your soapbox and just talking about something that you're passionate about, the world doesn't care. While I was meeting all these girls, I got the opportunity to meet this amazing 14-year-old girl. And in a very matter-of-fact, normal voice, she said, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I said, did I hear what she said? And this man who ran the rescue shelter home said, yeah, you have no idea how brave this little girl is. She was abducted and sold into prostitution by her father. But the most amazing thing is once she was rescued, this girl had the courage to actually take her traffickers to court. And for years, this case went on because that's what they uh, sort of uh, hope for, that in the process, these women lose their steam and back off. But this girl didn't. And she actually sent her traffickers to jail. This was the first case in Andhra Pradesh. And I was just so blown away. I said, OK, that is a story of heroism that I can sort of sink my teeth into. And that's how Lakshmi came about. The message of Pinkathon really was to get women to focus on their fitness uh, and their wellness because women in a deeply patriarchal society like ours put everybody above themselves, their children, their husbands, their in-laws, and they come last. And you as a doctor would agree that so many women out there just don't care enough about their health or their wellness. So the idea of Pinkathon and to use breast cancer as an awareness uh, drive was to get more women to be aware because, I mean, I don't want to I don't want to be able to go on about cancer, but unfortunately breast cancer exists. We don't know why it's there, but we do know that the only way to fight it is early detection. And I think in that regard, the multi-city runs that we do in Pinkathon have had great success. But on the note of patriarchy and, and the deep incidence of female feticide that's prevalent, and that's one of the things we work at in my grandfather's foundation that I set up, First of all, I must say that I'm really honored to be here and Lilavati Hospital and my Sineuk team have always been so wonderful with the work we do. Since the last 25 years, we've been working with physically, mentally challenged children. Kids who have HIV, cerebral palsy, people that have been hurt. So I think today, it's very, very important to help and show the world that we really need to put our support forward and help them. So especially, I have choreographed something from my musical called Selkut, which means rare and unusual. It is also where I've honored the fact that women, violence is nothing new. It happens all the time. We're fed up of it. And it's just something that we're so sick of. And the pieces I've done here for you today will show you that how strong women are. My mother being the woman I love, a girl child. My guru, Mrs. Bhavnagri, my spiritual guru. She's a girl child. <laughs> <laughs> 